Hey guys and welcome to my Factorio tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be talking about the optimal ratios for energy production. So the first thing you're going to want to do when you're getting energy production up and running is you're going to want steam engines and boilers. So the optimal ratio for steam engine and boiler, I'll just get rid of the friggin technology, we are in my point one two game right now so this is all up to date as of this video releasing. So the optimal ratio is a 14 boiler to 10 steam engines. This can be um, achieved perfectly using one offshore pump, which means that something looking like this is the perfect way to do it. The canny of you might notice that I only have 13 boilers. The reason I've only got 13 boilers is 13 boilers will pull the temperature up to 99 and flicker between 100 and 99. Uh, which gives you essentially 99% performance out of all of your steam engines. Uh, as I said, the optimal ratio is 14 boilers, which will take it up to 100, but that's one extra boiler using extra fuel, extra pollution, extra everything just to give you 1% performance, which I'm not a big fan of. If you're looking at this little setup down here, this setup is for a backup generation system that I'll be showing you in a future tutorial. So after you've got your steam engines up and running, you'll be wanting to transition into solar power. And solar power is slightly more complicated, Jesus Christ, slightly more complicated than your steam engines. If you have a look over here, here is a optimal solar power grid. This, the ratio that the solar power grid uses is a 25 to 21 for accumulator to solar panel. All right, this is worked out using some extremely mathematics but basically equates to the use of 180 solar panels 151 accumulators 16 substations and a robo port the way that this is built is so that it's um, obviously as you realize we're not using 25 to 21 ratio there it's slightly bigger but that is so that the uh, entire solar grid fits nicely into a Roboport grid, which means you can just create yourself a blueprint, dunk, 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 and that you've got a load of solar solar farms up and running, and they can all connect up to each other, which perfectly connects the roboports, perfectly connects all of the electricity, and that are, that's you sorted. So I'm going to nip onto the Factorio forum thread where this is all worked out because obviously it wasn't me that done it. So if you have a little look at the forum thread here, you'll be able to see um, exactly how this is all worked out and it's all worked out using a lot of maths. You don't really need to go into it if you want to do it, all you need to do is copy and paste that layout and just be happy in the fact that someone much smarter than myself has worked it all out for me. So there you go, that is your um, electrical grid including uh, the optimal ratios for steam engines, the optimal ratios for solar panels, accumulators. And that's us for this episode. In the next episode of the Factorio tutorial uh, series, I'll be showing you furnace setups uh, and the different ways that you can do furnace setups with or without buffers and um, basically updated for point one two because this is the reason why if you've been following the series up until now there's been a little break because I wanted to make sure that everything was up to date for point one two for you guys so that you didn't get confused. So, as always, thanks a lot for watching. I've been Stijo, you've been awesome, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.